Yo, what up guys? It's your boy Mr. Headquarters, man. Hey, I hope y'all are having a fantastic day. In case you've been living under a rock, we got a brand new DLC, the United Front. It came with three multiplayer maps, a war map, and a zombies map. You're not going to see me play too many zombies or war. I mean, that's just not my thing. I mean, I, I grinded zombies back in the day, burned out on it. I'm more on the uh, multiplayer maps and really trying to grind out, you know, get on score streaks and stuff like that. Uh, but the three multiplayer maps is the Market Garden, the Sterling Grad, and the Monte Casino. I mean, this right here has got to be the best DLC pack that Call of Duty's put out this year. And I wish that all the other maps was as good as this. But, I mean, I deleted all the other DLCs due to the fact that, man, they was just trash. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot delete Winter Carrington. But... I mean, that map right there just turned into a window shopper. You got snipers just sitting around, people with the rifles and stuff just sitting there just waiting on you to run by, putting bouncing beddies on staircases and stuff like that. I mean, it just really gets annoying. And every time you turn a corner, you got teammates, you know, just, I mean, enemies up there sniping you and stuff. I mean, it just really pisses you off. But, I mean, there's nothing you can do about it but back out. And Gustav Cannon, I mean, everybody flocks to the cannon and flocks. I mean... I'm sick and tired of all these windows, and I can say right here on these three right here, we do not have windows that everybody can just jump in and just sit around and head glitch and snipe you. I mean, it just really gets annoying. I mean, Anthropod, it's not window-based, but you've got so many, you know, downward tier, you know, stairs and stuff and different levels that you can just crouch on over and, and look over balconies and stuff and shoot people, and it just gets annoying, but... Anyways, I really love these three maps. I downloaded it and I love grinding it. And if you did not know, we got a brand new gun, the ZK-383. Uh, I've not really been excited about it because, you know, uh, I've been working a lot of hours and taking care of my son. So I haven't been able to grind as much as some people. But when I do grind, you know, I'm grinding, baby. That's why I'm Master Prestige. But all the videos that I've seen with the ZK-383, I mean, they're just trash. I mean, come on, Call of Duty. Can you not make a gun that is not... Just like the Sten, the Type 100, the Wafe. I mean, give us something different. I mean, you know, you come out with the bolt, it was real good. Then you, you know, you nerfed it, and now it's a hit marker's machine. But um, I'm not really excited about getting the ZK 383. I'll probably make a video on it, but I mean, it's just a trash hit marker machine. So I'm not really gonna put it on one of my class setups. I mean, I'm really hoping, you know, next Tuesday we get. The collections with some new uh, DLC weapons to grind for and open up in supply drops. So I've been saving a whole lot of supply drops and I'm going to open them up and hopefully I get all the new weapons if they do decide to launch some on Tuesday. But like I said, you will not see me uh, doing a whole lot of grinding with the ZK-383. Just not my deal. But hey, we did get three new basic trainings. The Wanderlust, the Escalation, and the Specialist. Uh, Wanderlust, man, it's pretty cool. I mean, it's kind of like playing gun game in a multiplayer map with not everybody racing to see who can, you know, win first at the last gun or the knife throwing or whatever. Uh, I might try that out some. Uh, be my luck, I'll probably get pistols and stuff when I'm trying to swap over or a sniper, which I suck at, and or a shotgun when I'm trying to kill somebody from far away after I just ran out, you know, a good LMG ammo. But uh, I'm going to grind that out and see what I can do on it, you know, just see how I like it. The escalation, you're not going to really see me run that. Uh, all it does is, is replenish your ammo after two assists and aim down sights faster. I mean, I really don't need that, but hey, I probably won't even use that one. The specialist, I'm kind of looking forward to doing that one. Um, I have not really been excited about it, I guess, because I'm too much of a score streak person. I love to get my streaks and really help my team. With a specialist, yeah, you get to use a couple basic trainings, but... I think it's garbage that Call of Duty should have gave us that pick 10 system where we could have added other basic trainings along with using score streaks. Now, had they let us use that with the score streaks, man, I think that would be OP and fantastic. I mean, I would love it. You probably wouldn't see me run nothing but specialists because, I mean, I think we should be able to run a couple of them, one, you know, basic training anyway. But uh, I'm going to try to do a video on that, see how I like it. I've not really played with it. You know, I've been working 60 hours a week and taking care of my son, so... I try to grind what I can, and right now I'm just trying to up, you know, my cavalry division. And speaking of that, we got uh, 
levels on the cavalry division. It looks pretty fun and pretty cool. You know, you got the uh, shield you can run around, which really gets annoying because people just start trying to, you know, head glitch and, you know, have partners and stuff stay aside and shoot over them and kill you. And then you got the people that try to, you know, get their contract and get 15 kills right now. So everybody's running around trying to, you know, melee you with the shield. I mean, it, 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 it gets annoying. I mean, the only thing that I found that I can conquer it is to try to throw a sticky and walk away and say, hey, you're lost, you know, and blow them up. But every time I've encountered trying to fight one of these guys or go to a battle, try to get to the side and shoot them or shoot their feet, I always get shot from the side or from behind from another enemy. So I suggest if you see somebody like that, throw a sticky, try to get out the way, and maybe it blows them up and then go, you know, kill their enemies or whatever, other friends. But the... Another perk to it is uh, while sprinting the shield charge to ram enemies just like you do in the infantry division with the uh, bayonet you just charge them and stab them. You can kind of rush them and I think it's still a two hit marker on that. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not too much on running around with the shield in front of me trying to protect it myself from getting shot. I mean just ain't my thing but what I do love about it is is the next one is improved objective capabilities. I love whenever you can go and play really objectives and cap a flag faster. I'm not too sure on hardpoint if it allows you to uh, faster time clock speed of being on the hardpoint. I had to check into that, but if it does, I think that would be pretty cool. Uh, also, it helps you in search and destroy on setting the bomb. And if we ever had demolition back, it probably would help you to you know set the bomb or discharge the bomb. And the other one is the objectives gives you extra score and two assists equal a kill. That is what I love about this. You know, I love that, you know, it gives me extra score. It's kind of like hardline. And then also if I get two assists, I get a kill. I mean, I'm sick and tired of, you know, running around and getting all the assists. And it ain't, I'm, I'm not getting no credit for it. But right this, you know, with this, I feel like I'm getting credit for it. So that there is probably why you'll see me grind Calvary, Calvary a whole lot. But I do not like that you cannot put attachments on your gun, but I guess that's the perk of the shield. You know, I really miss my armored and my extended mags. You're constantly constantly reloading. But uh, like I said, I'm going to try a few gameplays, you know, get some good streaks for you guys. And I'll probably do a video on the specialist just to let you know how I do, you know, how I do with that and how I like it. But uh, I'm going to leave you all with this gameplay here. Make sure that you uh, hit that like button and smash that subscribe button and stay tuned for your boy Mr. Headquarters because you know I'm going to be coming with you with a whole lot of new content with a World War II and then we got the Black Ops coming. Hopefully in the next month or two we'll have a beta in August and I can smash some gameplay on that. But with all that being said, I hope you all enjoy the rest of you alls day and the end of this clip here. For that, I'm out guys. Mr. Headquarters 5150 crazy. Peace. Being outmaneuvered. You're about to do bomber inbound. Dropping incendiary. Kill confirmed. Failure is unacceptable. Fight harder next time.